Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com and I'm about to load this Prophet 5 with the factory patches using the cassette interface because this is a pre-MIDI keyboard we have to use some really old school technology to get the patches into this. So since I was about to do it I thought I'd put together a quick video to show anyone who's interested how, how to get this done on your Prophet 5. So to do this we need a few things. We need something capable of playing back an audio file. I'm going to use my phone, you can use a laptop, a tablet, even a cassette player, whatever you want. Uh, you need the, the right audio cable. So this is a uh, 3.5 millimeter audio cable and I have an adapter here that goes from three and a half millimeters to quarter inch. So this is going to plug into my phone and this is going to plug into the back of the Prophet 5. You also need an audio file containing the patches that you want to load. I'm going to be loading the factory patches. In the description of this video, I'll have a link to my webpage where you can download all three files uh, for all 120 factory patches for the Prophet 5. This is a revision 3.2 Prophet 5 and it has only 40 patch memory. So we're only going to be loading the first file, which uh, has the first 40 patches. So if you were to listen to this file through your audio player, it would sound like a 1980s dial-up modem. And that's how it's getting the information into the Prophet 5, the exact same way a dial-up modem would. So let's plug it in and, and do it. The connections are simple. I'm going to plug the cord into the headphone jack of my phone. And I'm going to plug the quarter-inch jack to the cassette in on the back of the synthesizer. While I'm back here, you'll notice that there's a switch here, Enable and Disable. So this is the Memory Protect switch for your Prophet 5. You're going to want to switch it from Disable to Enable, and that will allow you to load the patches. So to load the patches, all we do is we hold down the Record button and press the Load from Tape button. All the lights go out and we hit Play on our sound file, and we wait. So the load light went out and it went back to tuning, uh, which indicates that the load was successful. Now we're here uh, on patch 11, and it doesn't sound like my, uh, my patch before. We've got the factory patches loaded in now. If when you're done playing back, it doesn't put you back into your patches and the load from tape light remains flashing, that means there was a problem with the load. The most likely problem is that the volume level of your playback was either too loud or too soft. So you can experiment with your playback level and get it just right so it will load in from the tape. So once you've successfully loaded the factory patches, you're going to want to change this switch back to record disable, which will protect those in memory. And then you can remove the cassette in wire and you're good to go. So this is a revision 3.2 Prophet 5, which has 40 patch memory. So I loaded in one file of 40 programs. If you have a revision 3.3 Prophet 5, you have three files of programs. So 120 patch memory total. And before loading each file in, you'll switch to the file uh, by holding bank select and pressing the file number that you want to load. And that'll move a little decimal point here on your program display. So all three of those patch files from the factory are available on the link in the description of this video. Hopefully this video was helpful to someone out there. This has been Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.